Welcome back. Joining us now is Surendra Mehta. He's secretary at the India Bullion and Jewelers Association. Mr. Mehta, hi. Welcome to the show. And uh, what a strong run-up that we've seen in gold and doesn't go away at all from a low of 1810 to 1980 right now. And this is all happening in the month of October itself. Yes, and in the last only 11 trading sessions, this has been happening. And I've been continuously saying that this will keep happening till this geopolitical tension melts down. Uh, with the, with the uh, uh, Middle East countries uh, and other countries also now getting into the war, I think, I think uh, uh, the gold has not yet uh, uh, reached to a level where it should have reached. And I think this rally will, would continue to rise. Uh, yesterday mm -hmm. also, if you if you look at the uh, Mr. Powell's speech, uh, the Fed Chairman Mr. Powell's speech, you find that in spite of the bond yield getting higher so much, uh, almost reaching to 5%, uh, the dollar index almost remaining flat, uh, the crude and gold prices reached to a, reach to a new high. Uh, I think I think the, uh, now what, what the entire... Uh, gold market is looking for is the geopolitical tension and is not concerned with what is happening uh, as far as the economy of America. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the gold prices can continue to rise like uh, in the similar fashion if the war further on. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Mehta, we've, been, we, we've spoken to some of the Wall Street banks. City says that $2,200 per ounce is what they're anticipating in the next year. Saxo Bank has told about, spoken about 2100 JP Morgan talks about 2200 of a possibility as well in the next year. So those are big levels and all-time highs being projected for 2024. What's your sense on where the global markets could be headed and what would that mean for the Indian pricing? See, I think today is the very crucial day in the weekend and normally we have seen uh, every Friday the market goes down except the last Friday. Uh, today, if it crosses $2,000, $2, my opinion, it can touch $2,002 today itself. And uh, but, but if it goes down today, let's say to $1,940, uh, which, can, which is a big support level, then I think there will be a little pause in the, in the gold prices escalation. Uh, but my my opinion is uh, buy uh, at every tip is important because see uh, this war can further lead to uh, China Taiwan war this war can uh, lead can uh, lead to Iran and uh, U.S war uh, so so there are so many factors to it and I I, I don't think uh, uh, that uh, uh, there is any any currency which is left which which at this time somebody would try to buy. Uh, look at mm. what happened to the market yesterday. Even the even the stock market, uh, the American stock market went down. So I think uh, it is now being uh, the best uh, safe haven asset uh, in my opinion. Mm. So while we've to, you, you've told us that 2000 is a possibility as early as today or next week maybe, uh, where, how would you look at the Indian prices then? And have you been able to project gold in a slightly medium term, let's say for the next 6, 8, 12 months? My take is in another 18 months, it should touch somewhere near 2300 to $2,500. dollars uh, If you ask me um, uh, in the next six months, then I would uh, also say that about $2,150 in the next six months is, is a real possibility if such geopolitical tension, such trade barriers um, uh, remain intact. And I, I don't, don't see that this political uh, geopolitical tension uh, will will ease very soon. This is going to escalate. Okay. Uh, for the Indian markets, what would that mean with the rupee trading where it is at around 83.20 odd levels uh, with these kind of levels where we are, where are we looking at the Indian rupee then and the gold prices in Indian rupees? Yeah, very soon. Uh, maybe 61,200, that would be uh, very soon. Um, and uh, in about six months, about uh, 65,000 and odd. And maybe... Uh, 18 months from now, maybe about 72 to 78,000. Mm. And at these levels, do you think with the festivals on and the wedding season right upon us, are people buying in India? Definitely. See, see I, I, there is a passion for gold in India. I don't see the people will look at the prices only when they are falling. When they are rising, everybody wants to buy a, a, as early as possible. So I think um, when the prices rises and rises at such a rapid speed, uh, then the, there is always a good good buying. 
and we are also getting reports across the country that because of festival season, because of wedding season ahead, there has been an excellent buying uh, happening across the India. Hmm. Uh, you know, apart from physical buying and apart from the Indian uh, festival buying globally as well, while we do understand that the CFTC data does show that the money managers are buying gold, what's your sense also on digital buying, uh, ETF buying, the bond buying when it comes to gold? See, this is what is exactly is going to further escalate the gold price. We have not yet still seen the central bank buying gold. If the China and other countries start buying gold, uh, we have still not come across the big ETF numbers, if they start buying gold, gold prices are set to rise. But uh, as of now, I, I, I don't have any data and we have not seen any any data where, where we have seen that central bank and ETF has been buying gold in big numbers. Probably this data would come in another week's time. Oh, well, absolutely. But the money managers clearly are the smart ones. And uh, we've seen the gold prices gain up, as you said, from 18.10 of a low to 19.80 right now. And in matter of 11 days itself, where we have seen the gold prices gain up by nearly $170 an ounce. Mr. Mehta, as always, thank you so much for joining us and giving us your sense on gold. With that, let's slip into a short break. We'll get you more action on the other side.